بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم آئی ایم ڈاکٹر محب اللہ وزیر اینڈ دا ٹاپک از دی فیمورل شیت نوٹ دی پوائنٹ لک دس از دی ابڈامینل کیویٹی اینڈ دس از دی پیلوک کیویٹی دس انٹیریئر ابڈامینل وال از بینگ انڈر لائنڈ بائی دس فیشیل ٹرانسفر سیلس وائل دس ایلیک فوسا از بینگ کورڈ بائی دس فیشیل ایلیکا This is fascia transfer cellus. It is fascia lecca. Look, look, look. This is the, this is the external iliac artery. This is the external iliac vein. The external iliac artery become continuous with the femoral artery, and the external iliac vein is continuous with the femoral vein, or the femoral vein become continuous with the external iliac vein. Now these two vessels, it lies between. Posterior to it lies this fascia iliaca and anterior to it lies this fascia transversalis. These two structures lies between these two. While this nerve, you can see over here, this femoral nerve, it lies behind or posterior to the fascia iliaca. While the two vessels, the femoral, the external iliac cortex and iliac vein, it lies between the two. Okay, now when this two structure, that is the femoral, the external iliac vein, external iliac artery, comes out from behind the inguinal ligament to enter into the thigh, what they do? Look, they do not pierce the fascia, that is the two fascia, but it takes a triangular fold, triangular sheet of the fascia for somewhat two to three. Three centimeter behind the inguinal ligament to enter into the femoral triangle, and this triangular fold of the fascia, in which the anterior wall is formed by the fascia transversalis, and posterior wall is being formed by the fascia iliaca, and contained in it is the femoral artery and femoral vein. This is being called as femoral sheath. In this way, the femoral sheath lies over here in the anterior part of the femoral triangle and it is an extension from the pelvis of anterior wall is being formed by the fascia transversalis and posterior wall of the sheath is being formed by the fascia iliaca and it is a triangular or funnel shaped and the interior of it is interior of this sheet is being divided by this septa into three compartments. The most lateral compartment contains the femoral artery. The mid then medial to the femoral artery lies the femoral vein and most medially over here there is an empty space which is being called as femoral canal. While the femoral nerve, it lies laterally, lies in the femoral triangle, but does not lie in the femoral sheath. It is not the contact of femoral sheath. Okay, and now the middle, middle most compartment of the femoral sheath that is being called as femoral canal. Over here, look. This femoral nerve it is out of the femoral sheath and contact of triangle. Then the femoral artery and femoral vein, each one in its own compartment. Look, this is a septa, own compartment, artery, then its own compartment, vein. And most medial to that lies the femoral canal or empty space. Look, this is the femoral canal or empty space. And this contains the lymphatic vessel, this femoral canal contain the lymphatic vessels that pass from the inguinal lymph nodes to the pelvic lymph nodes. And in addition to that, this femoral canal also contains one lymph node which is called the lymph node of cloquet. And this lymph node of cloquet, it drains from the glass of the penis and from the tip of the clitoris directly. Then the upper end of the femoral canal, it opens over here into the pelvis and this opening of the femoral canal into the pelvis that is being called as femoral opening, not this part, or femoral opening that opens the femoral canal toward the pelvis that is also called as femoral ring. And note the point, the anterior boundary of the femoral ring is this inguinal ligament, look, and the medial boundary is this lacunar ligament the 
the concave margin lacunar ligament is a ligament that extends from the medial end of inguinal ligament to the pectin of the pubic bone look this is the pectin this is the pectineal surface of the pubic bone this is the pubic surfaces the pectineal surface of the superior ramus in this way the posterior boundary is by this pectineal bone and pectineal fascia medial boundary by this lacunar ligament anterior boundary by this inguinal ligament and lateral boundary of the femoral ring is the femoral vein and the septum and this is the biggest point of this this uh, this femoral sheath and look the structures especially for example the omentum or even maybe the intestine that if this ring is being weakened it passes through this femoral ring into the thigh to produce an abnormal condition which is being called as femoral hernia and this is over here the patient would say that for example when i cuff or when i strain or when i stand there is swelling and then when i lie down and massage it, this swelling goes inside this is called a femoral hernia now note over here is also present the inguinal hernia to differentiate between the two what you do you put your finger at the pubic tubercle and ask the patient to cough if the hernia comes medial to the, your finger that is the inguinal hernia if it comes later to your finger that is the femoral hernia okay this is about the femoral sheath and look low down you know down the femoral vein and femoral artery it pierces through the femoral sheath and the femoral sheath get fused with the tunica adventitia of the blood vessels and now the femoral artery and femoral vein it lies over here it naked of the femoral sheath in the upper 2 to 3 cm it is being called by the femoral sheath okay and here to the femoral sheath lies you know the fascia lata or the cribral from the cribriform fascia which is actually the part of fascia lata over here okay this is about the femoral sheath thank you very much